Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies bringing you a product review. So this channel for me is all about helping the average painter um, make all, all aspects of this hobby as accessible as possible. And most of the time I've been focusing on painting, helping you guys get miniatures painted quickly and efficiently so you get your armies on the table and play some games. Well, I also want to explore all the different products that other companies produce um, and to help us basically make our hobby as easy as possible. So that's what one of the uh, points on today's video is going to be about. Um, uh, Green Stuff World have very kindly sent me out a care package with a few bits and pieces that I want to review and share with you guys. So we're going to do this across a couple of different videos. So the first one that we're going to be following is these new custom nameplates that they have that you go on the side of your bases. We've all seen them on Instagram or Facebook, whatever your, your chosen method of looking at hobby is. Um, these are these beautiful bespoke nameplates on the sides of the miniature bases which denote their name or the number or whatever. Um, a lot of the time these things can be simply decorative if you want your commander to have a name but in other game systems they're quite required. Necromunda and Blood Bowl for instance are two where each member of your gang or team has a specific name, has a specific set of rules, stats, injuries and keeping track of them in the battlefield can be a little bit tricky but not anymore. So we're going to have a quick look at these nameplates and see if they're all they're cracked up to be. Enjoy the video guys. Okay, so these are the nameplates in question. Green Stuff World was very kind to send out both sizes of nameplate, both packages for free. Um, so thank you very much to Green Stuff World for doing that. I also recommend the tweezer set um, to help you get the nameplates. They did not actually send me the tweezer set as part of the, uh, the bundle. Um, I actually already had those, um, but I still recommend um, those as part of the process. I think it'll make your life a lot easier when applying the little um, letters and numbers. Um, I'll put links below um, to all of the products I've used in this video, the nameplates and the tweezer set, um, to make it as easy as possible for you guys to go and check them out yourself and hopefully order up some. So the first thing I noticed when cracking the uh, sprue open was these parts here are actually um, a rubber material. It probably says that in the description, but I didn't read the description, I just saw some fancy nameplates um, and uh, got my hands on some. Um, so it was quite a pleasant surprise when I realized that they were rubber so that they're going to very easily wrap around the rim of bases um, and sit quite fluff, flush. Sorry, um, I was afraid they were going to be kind of soft-ish resin um, so you're going to glue them and bend them around with the risk of cracking or warping around like that. You have no risk with the, with the rubber doing that. So cut out the desired nameplate that you would like and then I used a touch of thin super glue across the back of it and then I just stuck it onto the side of the base, being very careful. I started in the middle, so the middle is the first part that I connected, and then basically bent the sides around until it sat flush. Being careful at this point. I don't know if it's humanly possible to do this point without getting some super glue on your fingers, but that's okay. We're hobbyists for a while used to having glue all over us. There we have it. The main plate is attached to the side of the base. Now it's onto the letters and numbers, so obviously pick out whatever crazy name you'd like your character to have, your Blood Bowl character to have, or anything like that. And cut out all of the letters that you need. Check your spelling twice, this is not something that you want to uh, make a mistake on and be sitting at a uh, gaming table and tell your friends that this is Commander X and they're like, that's not how you spell that. You feel kind of silly after that, because it's quite a process to get these done and you don't want to uh, be seeing silly. So uh, the first nameplate that I'm going to be doing is actually for one of my Patreons. Um, one of my Patreon tiers has your name on a studio army. His name is Breakdown. So this Tau Commander will be Commander Breakdown. So here's me double checking the spelling and the letters and everything like that. I also counted out the letters and realized that there was seven. So taking the K first. This is the first thing that I realized you should do when applying these. Is the first letter that you should stick on is the middle one. It's very easy to start at the middle and then work your way out from that. Therefore, your name will be centered on your plate. I actually did a, a Necromunda and a Blood Bowl uh, base as well, just to show off how they look. Um, I will show you these at the end of the video and you'll very much see that I've gotten one of them right and the Necromunda one I got a little bit wrong and it's shifted to the left. That's because I didn't follow this rule. So simple as drop a dot of super glue in and slip the K between the two uh, rubber bits, top and bottom. They go on absolutely no problem once you've got that tweezers to help you out then it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever trying to do this job without a tweezers i'd say would be a slight nightmare you would end up with little letters stuck all over your fingers 
and I knew it would be a very unhappy person. <laughs> So next on to do is to get it painted. So the first thing I did is I brush primed it with um, some Chaos Black paint. Um, the first one of the first questions I had from a friend of mine when I told him I was doing these bases and when I told him that they were bare rubber was, does the paint adhere to the rubber or is it going to flake or chip off? Which is a very valid question. Um, you wouldn't imagine rubber being a very good material to paint on. Well, I'm happy to say that the paint sticks to this absolutely beautifully and it does not crack, it does not flake, it does not anything. Um, it is quite a sturdy thing. And as you can see, as it dries, all those super glue stains and stuff are completely covered up and it does just look like one of those beautiful 3D printed um, nameplates. Next, we're going to go to the traditional gold. I am going to make this more like a trophy stand base here with the, the gold. Um, I was thinking about doing a bunch of different funky things, like there's uh, some cyberpunk miniatures were sent out to me and I was thinking about trying to do the like pink neon lettering um, for the letters on the base for some of those miniatures or even for the Tau I was tempted to do glowing blue ruins on a white pulsing background to make it look like it's, uh, it's like a screen or something like that. <laughs> Uh, but just for simplicity's sake, I went with the standard gold, quick dry brush of silver. And there was actually a sepia wash in between this stage and the wash went on beautifully, but I thought I filmed it, but I must have missed it. I can't find that footage at the moment. And with that, the, uh, the plinth is done. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Minimal effort, maximum reward. So here is the Tech Commander with his finished nameplate. You do get a bunch of different sizes of nameplates, so if you want to do this on bigger miniatures, even knights and stuff, there are much larger nameplates that you can do it with, um, which is a really nice feature. So you can go from basically 25mm bases all the way up to 60mm bases, no problem. Here's the Necromunda one that I did, and like I said, I started the cal at the far left, thinking I wasn't going to have enough space. By the end that I got to Jericho, I realized that I was completely off-center, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but then when I moved on to the Blood Bowl base, that worked out beautifully. Morgan Borg, all perfectly spaced out on a nice uh, Blood Bowl style base. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna once again thank Green Stuff World for sending me out these review products free of charge to be on my channel. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Well, and there we have it guys. So I've showed you guys how these uh, bases work or these uh, plinths work for the sides of your bases. We've gotten Commander Breakdown, who will be appearing in our 40k upcoming campaign, MH365, so that's going to be super cool. He's actually one of my Patreons, so having his name on the side of the base is one of his Patreon level pledges, so I'm sure he'll be delighted to finally see that in action. And I'm showing you, like I said at the start, I'm one of the Blood Bowl bases and a Necromunda base. So, what can I say about this product? Very simple to use. <clears throat> Very accessible, very affordable, and um, all in all, I would give it an 8 out of 10 out of a hobby product. The only reason I would dock any marks from it um, is the number of letters and names that you get inside of the box set. So, for instance, inside this box set here, there's about 20 name plates, but you only get, you know, 5 A's and 4 B's and 3 C's. So, um, utilizing all of those nameplates I think will be pretty much impossible and um, I do believe that these packets should contain two if not three of the, the letter sprues um, and with that minor tweak um, I think these products would be absolutely perfect and um, if not that then even make us uh, the little nameplates be purchasable separately so that we can spend a couple of extra euros on the website and get a couple more of them so we can make use of all of these fantastic nameplates and um, these are a product that I will continue to use uh, for all my Patreon levels who uh, get their name on a miniature and indeed for any Necromunda or Blood Bowl campaigns I uh, do moving forward will have these guys on their bases. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, I hope you found it informational and educational. If you did, drop the video a like, ask me any questions you like um, below in the comments. If you find real value in what I do, I want to support the channel a little bit further. There's links to all my Patreon below, um, so you can uh, donate a couple of euros a month and really help out the channel. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.